We're back. Here one gone. Crowd on their feet. As they only do it one gone. Opposing teams got to score a field goal before they sit down. Savile's off the mark. That goes off the hands of Oscar Foreman. Excellent three defense. Tremendous stop. Who was that guard set? Was it Benny Lewis? Not outside. Dorsey? Dorsey. Okay. Really good defense there. Ron Dorsey's connected on his last three. Comes up short on that one. They needed to make that. Reese Martin back into the game for the Hawks. I like to see him play Martin and you back at the same time. Well, it just opens up. We create the space. It opens up the ability for that extra player to be able to penetrate. And I think when you Baker out there, you'll find people might help off uh, Reese Martin. Matt Campbell. Long rebound goes to Dorsey. I thought Savile should have shot that one. So uh, seven seconds left on the shot clock. Cam Traga gets a pass from Benny Lewis. Maybe that'll get Cam Traga going. Yeah, good play, good pass by Brendan Dill. I don't like the fact that Alan ain't starting. Though. You know, they're, they're not down by six or eight. They're down by 18 or 19, whatever it was. Best players need to be on the floor. In saying that, they've scored three here. A three-point play, it looks like. But I'll be getting him back into the game pretty quick, Steve. They want to give themselves a chance. Maybe they want to run some of their stuff, execute it. And maybe he doesn't feel like Allen, in the short time that he's been with the Tigers, can get that done. Well, that's true. They run, they've been running the shuffle, so there's no question that's not an offense you can learn in a week. It's a lot of structure, a lot of stuff to remember. And I'd say that's probably what the, you're right, Steve. That's probably what they're going to run with that Allen off the floor. But you use up a lot of clock as well. They need to score quickly. With that structure, it requires the use of a lot of clock. Another offensive rebound to Wollongong. Matt Campbell again gets it to Oscar Foreman. Baseline. And his little lefty off the window made it look easy, and he takes the lead. Well, that's just too easy, Steve. That, Trevor would be furious about that. He just walked in there. I ran for God. Yeah. Marked at the referees. Thought there was some contact. Martin turns the corner. Ball's knocked away by Daniel Dillon. Well, here he comes. Back into the game quickly. That's a good move. I'm really curious to see how Tregago's stepping up over this period for the Tigers as well. This is a tough period. Matt Campbell on the baseline out of bounds at Wollongong like to execute for a shot for him. Oscar Foreman at the top of the key. Big bucket for Wollongong. They steady the ship. Yeah, they're feeling it tonight. They might end up a 30-point win when Ada comes back in the game. <laughs> Liam Rush loads up his three-pointer. They keep chucking up threes like that. It will be. Foreman finds Larry Davison. Foreman throws it right to Ron Dorsey. Dorsey finds Daniel Dillon. Careless pass. Cam God can't feel that thing into the hoop, but he's helped by Liam Rush. It was a nice pass by Dylan, but he had he had Allen wide open for three and didn't see it. So it almost got deflected. He got it through there. Foreman up top. Martin against the long arms of Dorsey. Davidson eventually comes up with the handle. Reverse layups off the mark. Here come the Tigers. Get the ball to Allen. Allen is wide open. Eventually, they get it to him. He puts it on the floor. Pull-up jump shot is just a little short. No one got on the boards. Trevor wouldn't be happy about that. He's screaming down there. Davison gets it to Savile. Martin. He's wide open. He comes up short. 
A couple of missed opportunities by both teams had good looks. Allen. Oh, oh nice oh, pass oh, to oh, Liam Rush. Oh, he drew just about every, went by just about everybody for Wollongong and then delivered the dime at the end. Well, it's just about to say, Tigers players weren't running hard enough. So Allen went ahead of him anyway and still got him open. <laughs> Dude, he can play this kid up. This is what we've got to show our Aussie kids. A player like this, break down your film and say, this is how you play. Matt Campbell gets some more space and he delivers once again. Matt Campbell with a three point shot, taking his tally up to 17. He's four for six outside the three point line, giving Wollongong a 77 59 lead. If you have suffered in some way, the law is here to guard your rights. And so are we. When your bright future turns dark, turn to Trilby Misso. Trilby Misso Lawyers. Call 1300 Trilby. Meet the new breed of energy drinks. Engineered with sports scientists, Powerade introduces a carbonated energy drink with electrolytes and a caffeine hit for energy right from the kickoff. Powerade Fuel Plus, where science meets energy. tonight because they've got plenty more to yeah, cheer about as their Wollongong Hawks are shooting over 50% from the field, over 40% from the foul line, and a near-perfect 11 for 12 from the foul line. Okay, run the stuff on a mate, get in the suit. Hawks, one, two, three. As you said earlier, Steve, best game the Hawks have played this year, and we've got five minutes to go. Guys are hitting open shots, they're hitting shots with hands in their faces. It's the best game they've played tonight. There's no doubt the, the presence of your Baker on the floor has had that impact, but uh, his replacement has done pretty well as well for the Tigers. Boy, he's coming very close to getting a five second violation by letting the ball roll up. <laughs> Again, another intelligent play, though. You know, that clock doesn't get used by letting it roll down. This kid's smart. Yeah. First in. You back up to Matt Campbell, who's been hot in transition. You get a nice pass into a post like that, it kills you as a guy when a big guy don't finish. But, you know, you're probably reluctant to throw it, at, throw it to him again. matty has got to finish. You want him to keep rebounding for you, so you, you got to give him another crack. Yeah. Ooh. Campbell, he gave it up to you back up. I'm not sure if Matt Campbell knew that there was four seconds left when he caught the ball outside the three-point line. And he's hot? Come on, Matt. <laughs> he hasn't been hot a whole lot no, this year. No, this, is a, this is it for him tonight. <laughs> Mate, Matt should be in that corner. He just moved down there now. So he's got the space to do what he wants. He knew that was good. He was trying back before that went through. Now you back off me. I'm burying the three on you. Liam Rush is off the mark. And he back up. Pulls down the board. Savile wants to play. He'll get the ball on a swing, I reckon, you're fighting. He'll come back off the old ball. Hesitation. He finds Conrad, who gets it to Savile for three. Yes! Glenn that, Savile started that play and finished it. That's that assist to the assist, Steve. That's why he's so hard to guard. Allen throws it upstairs to first, and he gets the finish, and they say the great ones are two or three passes ahead of the other players out on the floor. Well, you know, we talk about our point guards in Australia. It's about being a guard. If you if you can't shoot, if you can't shoot, they'll go players will go under your ball screen. If you can't shoot, they have to go over the top. They go over the top, you penetrate. Oh, that's a nice move, isn't it? <laughs> but going back to your baker, he can he can shoot. And he can pass. That's what makes him tough to guard. And as we're seeing it from Allen, they're not one-dimensional. If, if a guy can't shoot, you can go under his on-ball on screen all night and kill their offense and sag off. Them. If they can shoot and pass, that's something to deal with. Kate Jackson gets the tip. Matt 
Campbell was wide open, and Kate John just waltzes in for the tip. Allen has the ball up top. Dylan. His pull-up jump shot is good. You know, Allen's quietly gone about business. He's got 20 points on 9 of 13 shooting. He's got seven rebounds and six assists. And he probably should have 12 assists. If guys, what more than that, if guys were fit up and down the shot. Savile to Katron. Conrad loads up the three. That's long. Run down by Savile. It's going to be tough for the Tigers to make the playoffs, I think, Steve, dropping this one. They'd have to you know, go close to winning six or seven of their last eight, whatever it is. Pass goes to Conrad after you back him. But Hammond got crushed. <laughs> <laughs> but when you're 20 points up, it ain't going to bother you too much, although he would have liked to add another two to his score. Yeah. Well, normally, when you pump fake like that, they will drop the hammer on you and your team. <laughs> Great sign up in the crowd. We'll have to try and find it. Just behind the Hawks bench. Yeah, it's just behind the Hawks bench. It's that white sign. We'll get another we'll get a camera to get a look at. And you be the judge. <laughs> Rebecca with the steal. He's doing it all. He's a man, Steve. He's going to work. And he's got a mismatch. He knows Russ can't guard him. Penetration coming up. Oh. Daniel Dillon anticipated that one. And he throws it out of bounds, but he's fouled. Well, you be right, Steve. Dill Dillon got with his left hand. Looked very awkward. To Greer, Daniel Dillon catch and shoot from the wing. Now count for three. They're just a lot more composed than the Hawks. They've got a player out there. Conrad just gets it to Ubaka. Shot clock down to six. He gets to the rim. Look at that. And that, to me, if you don't have that on your team, someone that can create late in the shot clock, yeah. you're not going to win in this league. And the crowd love what they've gotten from Ayinda Ubaka tonight. 15 points, four rebounds, three assists, but he has led them to a victory. That's the most important thing. Yeah. He's created a presence, dude. And as you say, making things happen when the shot clock's down. But you know what, Steve? The good teams have two or three guys like that, not one. Yeah. The game, that's how it is in Europe. You've got to have guys who can put the ball on the deck and make plays. Tatron trying to get to the rim. It's blocked by Liam Rush. And not just Europe, the NBA. Dylan just mows Zach Delaney out of the way. Well, he'll run over you. I don't know about changing the direction. He'll run over the top of you. Daniel Jackson and Zach Delaney in for Wollongong. Delaney is fouled. I was hoping it wasn't going to be a turn for him. Roger looking after the little fella. Oh, he really looked after him there. <laughs> <laughs> Dylan was nowhere near him. If Zach scores, the house will come down. Just don't turn it over, Zach. Delaney's trying to create some space. Rush. Jackson for three. That she had a lot more time on the shot. Carson will get it up. They're uh -oh. trying to get it to Delaney for three. Zach Delaney scores, and the crowd erupts. Finning finish for Wollongong as they get Zach.